appreciate that response because uh, for me, uh, it's like, uh, okay, we're talking at a surface level. We're talking about these events. Uh, we're trying to get at some of the emotion connected to it. But have we really gotten to sort of the iceberg theory? Have we really gotten under the water and saw how big that iceberg is and what it means mm -hmm. to us in our lives? And so, mm -hmm. uh, I think and with with global warming, us. we're not going to have to worry about any more icebergs. Okay. I, you know, you know, if the <laughs> yeah, Titanic yeah. was uh, was uh, we we built that, we can build that thing in a couple of years, and they're, they're never going to sink. They're never okay. All right, no more. All right. All right, but the, but the uh, it's it's real real interesting um, that the uh, the psychotherapy part of this, uh, which we, we talked about just just a moment ago, that that really can you help prepare for those um, resiliency? The, yeah, the resiliency piece. That's, that's where it's sort of going. So if I'm helping someone in a in a counseling setting. Uh, can we help them prepare for the next traumas or mm -hmm. even the well, bigger traumas? Well, first off, it depends on how good their insurance is. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I got that. <laughs> so that's really, that it's gonna be, you know, because it's going to cost. No, the um, uh, part of what, you know, uh, they're, they're, I'm sure there's a genetic component to this, that then, and then there's also sort of the epigenetic environment that allows one to be able to, to make use of what you've been given but also a, uh, an environment that helps to gives you this the strength and the skills to be able to move forward in life that you're able to internalize some some um, some good objects that you can pull from in moments of of duress all that sort of stuff so many of us are lucky that we have we've been given a number of things that help us generate resilience you right all right, all right. Makes sense. um those who haven't part of what happens in therapy is we give them something they can internalize. They can. Uh, there's a corrective element in the therapeutic process where they uh, they internalize the therapist, and then as they move out into the world, they have uh, they can make make use of that therapeutic object, so they can talk to themselves in the way that they've talked. The therapist has talked to them, or the way that they've talked about themselves in the presence of the therapist. Right. 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 So that builds that resilience that they can take mm. on, um, take with them as mm. things happen. You know, there are just some folks who've had a pretty rough life, and they've had lots of trauma, mm -hmm. uh, an unfair share of trauma mm -hmm. in their lives. And you kind of see those folks coming in uh, to therapy. It's a good good idea to think, okay, i got to work through the immediate uh, – uh, topics and <laughs> issues that they're bringing forth, but also have to help with the resilience to make these folks, when they leave, have some tools to sort of manage what's mm -hmm. going to happen next and who knows what's going to happen next. Man, who does? Actually, I do know what happens next. I'm, uh, okay. I'm going to have a uh, vegan enchilada, hopefully. All right. Unless yeah. my uh, my wife's currently at the, um, the uh, French restaurant around the corner. And okay. So she may force me to eat somewhere here, but hopefully I can go home and eat my enchilada. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's a lot to unpack in that. We're not going to go down that road on your enchilada today. 